Hello. This video covers distributing the Windows Roaming client on an Active Directory network using group policy. The Windows Roaming client allows you to set policies that apply to groups of computers or even to individual computers. This is good for separating staff from students or executives and IT staff from employees. The first step in installing the client is to obtain a copy of it from the DNS filter dashboard. Navigate to Deployments, Roman Clients. Download the Windows installer. If you're an MSP, this link will download a white label version that you can use with your clients. We're now going to fire up the Orca tool. Orca is freely available from Microsoft by downloading the Windows 10 SDK, and we've included a link to that in this video. Once Orca is open, I'm going to open up the MSI file that we just downloaded. Now I'm going to go to the Tables menu on the left and select Custom Action. You can see at the bottom of this page, there are several custom actions that have been defined. These correspond to the command line flags that you can use for the silent install of the agent. What we're going to do is create an ORCA transform file, or MST file, which modifies these values in advance, so that when we deploy the roaming client, things like the site secret key, tray icon, and tags are pre-filled automatically. This is ideal for mass deployment. Now we need to pause here for a moment and consider our environment. Anything that has set CMD in front of it can be changed, but it may not be wise to do so now because you can more easily change it in the DNS filter dashboard. For that reason, it's recommended to make the transform file as widely applicable as possible and then further customize with the web dashboard. Hard coding too many values here will result in increasing your deployment complexity in Active Directory, which is something we want to avoid. If at all possible, we recommend generating one ORCA transform file per location or network site that you have registered with DNS filter. From here on out, we're going to use headquarters as our example. Let's get back to ORCA. Go to transform, new transform. This will, in a sense, start the recording of our actions and ORCA will record anything that is now different from the base MSI file. Go back to the dashboard and view and generate your site secret key. Once you have that copied in your clipboard, go back into Orca and paste it in the corresponding field of set, CMD, and key. Notice it now has a green border. This indicates we've recorded a change that is different from the base MSI. You may wish to change set CMD tray icon to disabled if you wish to disable the tray icon. Since host name and tags can be modified in the dashboard, I'm going to finish now without modifying those. So I'm going to click transform, generate transform, save the file. I'm going to call mine DNSF client headquarters and exit Orca. The next thing we're going to do is create a network share. This is necessary in order to distribute MSIs on Active Directory. You may already have this set up, in which case you could skip this section and go with the network share you already have. First, open Server Manager. Then navigate to the file and storage services on the left. Then go to Shares, then the Tasks dropdown, and from here select New Share. We will just click next through most of these. Under share name, I'm going to put MSI deployment. Notice the local path. Now I'm going to click next until the end. Once that is done, we're going to move our MSI and MST transform file to the share. Go to the download folder and cut both of these files. Now navigate to the local path of the share. 
and paste them in. Now we're going to go back to Server Manager. We're going to go to Tools, Group Policy Management. I'm going to select the computer's OU inside my headquarters. Right click and select Create a new GPO and link it here. Name the GPO. I'm going to call mine DNSF Client Headquarters. Now we're going to edit this policy. In the tree on the left, navigate to Policies, Software Settings, Software Installation. Right click and select New Package. It will immediately prompt for the MSI file. This time we're going to navigate to the network share, not the local file path. Type in the share name and find the MSI file and open it. Once that is done, we're going to select Advanced for the deployment method and hit OK. Now we're going to go to the Modifications tab. From here, click Add and navigate to the Orca Transform file and add it. You're now done. During the next group policy refresh, your roaming client will be distributed automatically and silently across the OU, along with the certificate file for HTTPS block pages. The client will register to DNS filter and begin filtering. From the web dashboard, you'll be able to control everything about the Windows client, including assigning policies, naming the clients, and assigning tags. Thank you for watching.